All right, good morning. Today we are working on building web pages. So today we're going to build a sample web page for my friend. And um, she had a terrible website. So today we want to improve this website for her. And on all websites, we want fun colors. We want, um, we want smiling faces. Are you, we, we want something that people says, hey, I want to be a part of that. So we just looked at some websites that are not very good. And I'm not going to name any names on that so I don't get fired. Uh, and then we also looked at some websites that are very good. Um, Butler Tech's website is very, it's very good. Um, I believe Fairfield's website's very good. Okay. Um, if we looked at that real quick, okay. We want to see some, this is not very good at all. Okay. This is great. We want to see smiling faces. Um, and then here's the source code. And I'm going to show you how to start writing this today. Okay. Um, we could look at Fairfield's uh, website and check it out. Fairfield High School, Fairfield City Schools. Let's see if it's good. Okay. Should we see smiling faces immediately? Seeking community's help. Okay. Yes. 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 Very good. Very good. Do you see smiling faces? Yes. Is this? Oh, look at that. I see a student. Oh, my God. I, I want to know about this kid. You with me? Oh, another student. All right. Oh, look at that. Awards. I mean, that's cool. That's what we want to see. Smiling faces. Are we seeing smiling faces? Yes. Very good. Props to Fairfield on a good website. Okay. This is so easy to do. Are you with me? All right. So now I am back into Notepad. Notepad is a is a text editor. It's kind of like um, a, a normal Notepad. It's kind of like a Word document that's stripped down. It's just going to be white. Um, but then I'm going to show you how to start creating. You can you can do all kinds of programming in here. You want to program in C. You want to program in C C plus plus C sharp. You can use Notepad for all of this. All right. So let's begin. I'm going to show you how to create a, a document today, an HTML document. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. So let's go ahead and we're going to start this document with uh, a doc type. So you just type in doc type and you're going to type in HTML and then you end it with a caret. And then we're going to start the HTML. And then what I do is I jump down and immediately I end the HTML. Okay. What? Enter. You just hit enter. Okay. So right here I've started this HTML tag. These are called tags. And I ended the HTML tag. How do you know something's ending? What's different about it that's showing that it's ending? Yes. The forward slash. The forward slash says, hey, I am ending your HTML. Now, the great thing about this is that when you guys start actually programming mobile Android apps, right? Android mobile apps is a perfect combination between HTML and Java. So if you guys learn Java and now you learn HTML, you're going to love Android. Okay? And what are you guys learning how to do right now? You're learning how to program in. Android, but the thing is you're learning more of the logic behind Android, not the actual code behind Android. And before this quarter is over, what I'd like to do is do a reverse engineering on our, one of our Android programs. I'd like to open it up in Eclipse and show you the actual code that was written, what you did. Okay, yes. All right, so let's begin. So now what we want is we want a header on our, on our uh, website. Okay, most websites have headers, right? Uh, if I would go back here, this is a header. Fairfield City School District is your header. Okay, just think of it like a book, right? You have a title, and then what do you want to read inside your book? Okay, props. This is good. This is good. This, I like this. I'm very, I'm very pleased with this. Oh, yeah, this is good. Smiling faces. Okay, that's great. Yeah, bald head. That's great. You know? That's what websites should be like. All right, so once again here, as soon as I start the header, I am going to end the header. How do we end the header? 
forward slash H-E-A-D. Okay? Now, inside the header, inside the header, we're going to go ahead and put a title. Okay? And let's go ahead and inside of here, now we can go ahead and end our title. And inside of here, I can put in um, the, the title of my page, Abundant Springs. And, and I gave you guys, like, April's website here. Okay? So, you know, in this title here, um, we would want Abundant Springs. And then I'll put in here, dash, um, Nourish. the whole you okay and now I can shrink that a little bit can you guys still see this okay all right so that's my title All right, so now what we want, we can go into the body of the web page. So we just go body. And let's go ahead and I like to immediately, once I start the body, what I want to do, I like to end it. Why? So that I know, yeah, go ahead, Alex. Right, I, I don't want to forget that I, I opened it and ended because if I open it and don't close it, then that could cause an error in my program, okay? So now let's go ahead. What do we want in the body of this program? Yeah. No, it's just, uh, it's just forward slash title. Let me reduce it just a little bit. Can you see that still? It's just forward slash title. Okay. Um, now, this is cool. In here, in the body of the program, we can give it a background color. So we go BG color. And this is where GIMP comes really, if this is where GIMP becomes alive. All right. Let's go give us a really cool background color. All right. Are you guys ready? Catch up with me. So here I'm going to open up GIMP. And this is, this is where GIMP becomes a real, GIMP is a real tool here, an excellent tool for this. So go ahead and open up your GIMP. And we're going to discover some colors today. Mm-hmm. Okay, so give that a second. Let GIMP come up. And I'm just going to create something, and 640 is fine. doesn't matter. We're just going to look at colors today. Okay. And I am going to open up my Windows toolbox, like I always do. And I'm going to go down here to colors. Okay. And you guys can pick a nice, fun color that you like. So do you like that color? Let's go to the color wheel. What color do you guys want? Cayenne? Okay, so let me show you this one time, and I'll let you guys pick whatever you want. I like this little color wheel here. here. Do you see, I see how I got the color wheel? Okay, and then if you guys just click in here, it gives you, like, different hues of the color. We could talk about hues. Okay, here's a nice green. Okay. I'm going to go more to the blue side because most people's favorite color is blue. I like this blue right here. So now watch this. Are you ready? Over in here, you have the RGB, right? We've talked about RGBs this year. Thumbs up if you understand RGBs. Hello? Can you, uh, do you need a drink of water? You sure? Why don't you go get one? Wake up a little bit. All right, so the RGB value on this is 23, 148, 215.
You with me? But now look at this. What does this say right below it? HTML notation is 1794D7. And what this does is it changes this 2314815 to a hexadecimal value. So watch this. I'm going to copy this number right here. I'm going to hit Control C. And I'm going to go back to my notepad. And in my quotes, I'm going to hit Control C. And now I just gave my web page um, a color. All right? So now the background image of my web page should be some type of a color. Okay? Now let's throw in here an image. Okay? So inside my body, I'm going to throw in an image. Yeah. Okay. Let me put in an image and then... Or do you guys want to view it right now and then throw in the image? All right, let's so so right here you have to go file save as, and I'm going to go into my documents. Now it's very important how many people made a folder, because we're getting ready to do images and you have to download an image. Your image has to go into the file folder that you're saving this to. Okay, are you with me on that? If not, it won't load it properly. Okay, so that's very important. Folders are very important to programming because the computer is going to look for where that that document is sitting, and it and if those it wants those it wants the document and the pictures to be in the same place. So uh, let me go back into my folders. Um, what is a web page? Here's quarter two, okay, and I'll I'll put in here period one. Okay, and inside of here, I'm going to say this as abundance um, web example, abundance HTML example, okay, period one, okay, and then down at your save as type, you have to do a save as. You're going to have to say, now look at this, this is all the stuff you could be coding in. Okay, you want to code in Flash, you want to code in Ada, you want to code in Unix, you want to code in C source, you want to code in CoffeeScript. Don't even know what that one is, never even heard about that one. There's C, there's C sharp, there's cascading style sheets, um, and there's hypertext markup language. So we want HTML today. I'm going to click on HTML and I'm going to hit save. Okay, now notice it went into colors. So this is this is why I save early because these colors are going to tell me if I'm programming correctly. All right. So once I have saved it, thumbs up if you've saved it as an HTML document. Who saved it? Who has not? So you need to do a file save right now. Okay. Now I'm going to go back into my folder. Let's go into quarter two. There's period one. And now all I have to do, look look at this symbol here. You guys may not have this same symbol as me. I have a Chrome symbol. So as soon as I save it as an HTML document, because Chrome is my default browser, it saves it as a Chrome file. If Internet Explorer is, is your default browser, does anybody in here have Internet Explorer? Okay, You might see a big E or something. Did you see a big E? Okay, you're going to see a big E, and that's fine, because Internet Explorer is your default browser. So it's going to save it as your default browser type. Thumbs up if you're with me on that. And now all I have to do is click on this, and it's going to open it up, okay? Double click, and it should open it up. There's the blue. All right? That's my web page. Now, the problem is, just a lot, a lot to it, okay? And notice up here, it's saving it as, you know, it, it's, look at this, file, C, users, Richter, D, documents, abundant springs, example, period one. It's opening it up with a URL. Thumbs up, you got that to come up. It's automatically opening up, because it's an HTML file, it knows to open up that file with a Chrome browser, Okay, yeah. I'm going to go out and save this 
um, folder to my um, to my folder. There's period one, and okay. So now let me show you how easy it is to insert an image into your document. So I'm going back to Notepad, and I'm going to say, okay, the image, the source SRC is equal to five minutes left. Okay, so we're going to get an image today, and we'll finish this tomorrow. Um, so the source is equal to, and now you got to go back here, and you got to make sure you get this exactly here. So I'm just going to do a soft click on this. I want to show you guys this. Do a soft click. You guys know what a soft click is? I'm going to soft click on that. Don't double click. Then click it, highlight it, select it, and then watch this. Soft click. And see how it highlights that? And now I can go control C. And I need to figure out what type that is. So that is a JPG. Are you with me? I got to get that right or it's not going to open it. Okay. So I go back to my notepad and I hit source is equal to quotes. Control V. And this is a dot capital JPG. Now, we used to do lower cases, but in HTML, they want upper cases. Okay. So that is my uh, picture and now if you want to align it you can go align and how do we want to align this equal to you guys ever centered something before so I just centered it in my page are you with me and um, the width is going to equal and I want it to be like uh, eighty percent of the web page so I'm gonna say like uh, eighty percent and web page dot there it is web page web page dot and then I end my I'm ending my image source there Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. File, save. And let's go back into my Abundance Life. Let's double click on it. Yep. Now look what happens. Did I put a picture on my page? Yeah, I did. Okay. So now we have the heart. And it's built with nourishing foods, and it's got a rainbow in it, and it's happy, and we have nice colors, and we're on our way. Okay? Who understands what I'm doing today? All right. Excellent. So this is, uh, we'll go ahead and save this document. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps. And, um, and you guys can always pause and rewind this and go back to uh, the code and see the source code. I'll show you that one more time. And this is the source code. And that's it. That's how you start to build a website. Was that hard today? Is it that hard to build a website? No. By the way, is Notepad, does it cost you anything to, um, to, to download Notepad++? Okay, extra credit homework assignment tonight. If you go home and download Notepad++ on your computer. Okay. And number one you might your computer might probably comes with it your almost every computer in the world comes with notepad it's almost like a default program on every single computer so if you go home tonight and locate it take a selfie with your notepad or if you download notepad plus plus extra credit assignment okay thumbs up if you're with me all right thanks for listening i hope you have a good time building web pages and uh you know, does it cost you anything tonight to go home and start building web pages for people? No. You could be 13, 14, 15 years old, and you could get paid right now to build someone a web page. Okay? Happy building, and I hope this helps, and we'll see you soon.